from major actor exiting the show after 11 seasons to newer better series taking over the Law & Order genre. Here's why Law & Order SVU is officially finished. It's well on the way to becoming a one-man show. After 11 seasons of playing Detective Amanda Rollins, Kelly Giddish left Law & Order SVU during season 24. It drove the fans crazy, and I understand why. It's because she didn't leave on her own. She was fired. How could the fans not be in uproar after that? So what happened? Why'd she have to leave? It's all because the high-level executives ordered the creators to write her exit into the season. They slapped a lame excuse on it like keeping the show fresh and up-to-date. But the real reason was something else. They just couldn't pay her the salary she deserved. Now apparently, Mariska Hargitay, who not only stars in the show, but also serves as an executive producer, was against this move. We've seen similar exits in the previous season, with Jamie Gray Hyder and Damore Barnes leaving after the season 23 premiere. Hyder even expressed her disappointment on Twitter, talking about how the show had become less diverse. And guess what? They used this reasoning in the series. That's right, they showed how racial bias in the New York Police Department made Kat and Garland leave. The storyline added some very necessary conflict, especially with Garland's replacement, Tommy McGrath. But here's the thing, writing off Amanda Rollins didn't give the same kind of room for storytelling. She's been with the show for much longer than Hyder and Barnes, so she's way too important and her leaving can have a bad effect on future storylines. Rollins ended up with Carisi, and now it's going to be awkward mentioning their relationship without her on screen. But let's focus on the biggest issue of them all, the salary. Ice-T who plays Sergeant Finn Tutuola has been on the show much longer than Giddish, so it's not wrong to assume he earns more. If they chose to cut a cast member because of their budget, it would have made more sense to choose Ice-T, especially since his role isn't as important as hers. But no, they let Giddish go instead, which says one thing and one thing only. Someone's sexist, which sucks considering how the show speaks a lot about institutional sexism. In the end, it doesn't even matter why they let her go, because her leaving it all is a huge blunder, which they'll probably regret sooner or later. They're on a roll for now. As if the blow of Rollins leaving wasn't enough, we had to watch Detective Muncie leave the force too. After putting Olsen in prison for good, the young detective got a shout-out from McGrath. He pulled her aside after their conference on shadow work to congratulate her. He was so impressed with her that he even offered her a promotion. And this wasn't just a little bump. He offered her a spot on the DEA task force. That's like everyone's dream, which was surprising, considering she's just been at SVU for a year. Anyhow, Muncie went back and forth over the offer for some time. She didn't want to leave Benson, but decided that the benefits were just too good. The crossover finale of SVU and organized crime made her decision obvious. She got her things and left the special victims unit with a sappy goodbye from Finn. These departures are just the worst part. Now, I know SVU has been on our screens for over two decades now. It even holds the record for being the longest-running scripted primetime series in American history. We've seen Benson and her team tackle some truly terrible sex crimes. And of course, she's become an iconic TV cop loved by fans all over the world. But hey, even though it's hard to imagine a world without them, we all know that good things come to an end. And if they don't, they just get worse. Remember when Harvey Dent said you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain? Okay, fine. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yeah, I just don't want that to happen to SVU. But there's no doubt about the fact that it is happening. No matter how many budget cuts they make, there'll always be a huge problem staring them in the face. And that's Hargitay. It's no secret that she carries the show, which is why she's raking in the big bucks. I'm not kidding. She's officially one of the highest paid actresses on TV, earning a whopping $500,000 per episode. Here's the problem. Each season has at least 16 episodes, and producing the show itself must cost a fortune. If it continues for too long, there will come a time when they'll be spending much more than they're getting. That's what's going to happen when people completely give up on the show because they're not interested anymore. They've got every reason not to be. The show's been following the same formula since it debuted back in 1999. It's been 24 years. Let that sink in. In each episode, the first half focuses on the officers investigating the crime and catching the suspect. Then, the second half shifts to the DA's office, where they work on the case. Now, this format does have its advantages, but it feels way too old now. 
You'll get what I mean if you've been watching for a while. Everything is just so predictable most of the time. Sometimes, this format even makes the show feel a bit superficial. It's hard to connect with the stories because there's hardly ever enough time to develop the characters fully. If you're someone who appreciates attention to detail, you'll agree with me here. Most fans on Reddit do too. One fan went on a whole rant about why SVU sucks now, and it had a lot to do with the way the plot is structured, basically what I just talked about. But they even brought up issues like the stories being centered on Benson, which isn't what used to happen before when there were more stars in the show. They talked about how there's no need for Warner anymore because they've moved away from murder plots. The same goes for Taru and Huang. There's nothing fresh and intriguing to analyze anymore, which is a shame since it was much better when there was an amazing whole cast. They used to do all sorts of things in a single episode. People like Novak, Cabot, and Barba brought so much depth to the show. Since most of them have left by now, all they can do is focus on Benson. There were a lot of yeses to this fan's rant. Many of the OG fans are getting tired of the show's same old storyline and format. They think the writing's gotten bad too. And that's not all. Not everyone's obsessed with Benson. That's right. One fan had a lot to say on that topic as they commented, she is a terribly written character played by a mediocre actress. Another user replied with a rant of their own and said, I have no idea why the scripts suck now. There's no action now. All they do is talk and figure cases out. So none of the exciting plots would make you think actively about the show. Plus, there's a serious lack of creativity. They just copy whatever's going on in the real world without any thought of their own. It's okay to be inspired by current events, but just making a discount version of Jeffrey Epstein and giving their shambles of an effort to reflect on Black Lives Matter is not impressing the fans at all, so they're just turning their attention elsewhere. Back in the day when the show first aired, it was the hit because it was like the new kid on the block. But now, more than 20 years later, there's a lot of other options. In recent years, we've seen the rise of a bunch of new police and crime dramas that, honestly, are quite impressive compared to SVU. It's true the fans have started switching over to shows like Criminal Intent, which just has all the things SVU is missing. It's got great writing, there's nothing you can pinpoint in the first five minutes of the show. And the storyline doesn't just start and end at the crime. The crime's just the beginning. They take it to a completely different plot while you're just sitting there with your jaw hanging. It's clever. But more importantly, it shows that they put a lot of effort into each episode, from the subplots to the characters. This sucks for a show like SVU because it only makes their blunders even clearer. And that's all guys, from newer better series taking over the law and order genre, to a major character exiting the show, this was why Law & Order SVU is officially finished.